Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather and I'm the Bent Yogi. This is a strong standing practice. Short practice, we're not going to get down on the ground at all. You can do this practice standing. You don't even need a yoga mat, just some comfortable clothes and solid ground. So, let's get started. If you have your yoga mat, you can stand on your yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, come to standing where you are. If you want to start seated, go ahead and start seated. But wherever you are, however you're coming into this, set your feet really intentionally. Feet about hips width distance apart. So we usually overestimate how wide our hips are. Hips width distance for most people is just about two fists between your feet. So you can kind of look down. Don't kind of look down. Go ahead and look down and see your feet. Let them be straight. Lift your toes. I've already lifted my toes. So lift your toes and spread your toes apart a little bit and then gently place them back down again. And as you start to connect to your feet, also start to connect to your breath. You can let your hands and your arms just come to rest alongside you with your palms forward. Start to connect with your breath. And let your breath begin to lengthen and deepen. Now you might set your gaze to one point because that helps with balance and even standing on two feet, even seated in a chair there is balance involved. And setting your gaze also helps you to focus in on where you are and what you're doing right now. So right here, right now, your two feet are on the ground, flat on the ground. And they're even and they're straight. And we're taking a deep breath in together And a long breath out. And if it works better for you to close your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And you might be someone who stands a lot. You might be someone who sits a lot. Still, this is a little bit different. A really intentional placement of your feet. Connecting your feet to the ground. Your legs are active and engaged. Feel your low belly draw in and up. It's like you're trying to get your belly button to touch your spine and draw up towards your rib cage. That supports your low back. Helps you stand a little bit taller. Let your shoulders soften away from your ears. You can even roll them back a bit. And let the crown of your head reach straight up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Your arms are active here. Your fingers are spread apart from one another. And you're intentionally standing fully present, fully in your body in this breath. Take another deep breath in. Then a long breath out. Once more here, a big inhale. And a big exhale. Now as you inhale, reach your hands high, reach up, and you can look up. Exhale, fold forward. Soften your knees as you fold. Let your head hang down. We're coming into a rag doll here. You can bring opposite hand into the crook of opposite elbow. You can bend your knees a lot, rest your torso on your thighs. Maybe there's room to straighten your legs. If you're in a chair, you can just hang over your legs here. And if it doesn't work to grab your elbows, hands can come down, hang down. If you have yoga blocks handy, you can rest your hands on your blocks. If you can, let your head drop here. It's really nice. It's really powerful. Letting your head get heavy, maybe turning your head from side to side. 
shaking your head gently, really gently up and down. And still a deep breath in. Then a long breath out. Still connected to your feet, your toes are soft, still connected with your breath. A big inhale. Then a big exhale. Here, release your hands. With soft knees, come back to standing. Shoulders roll back. Reach your hands high. Lift up. Big inhale. Once more, fold forward. Exhale. Here, adding in your halfway lift your flat back. Hands can be on your mat. Hands can come to your shins. You can put a bend in your knees so you can lift your chest and lengthen your spine. Low belly draws in and up. You're supporting your low back. Notice if your shoulders are rounding forward. We do that a lot when we're standing and when we're seated. Roll your shoulders back. Draw your low belly in and up and really lengthen through your spine. This will help you be a little bit taller when you're standing. Take a deep breath in. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Come on back up to stand. Hands reach high. Lift up. Look up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, big breath in. Fold forward, exhale. One more time. Inhale, come on up to stand. Reach up, lift up. Now, sit down, bend your knees, chair pose. I'm going to work with my feet together. That's just more comfortable for me. Feet and knees together, but you can keep your feet apart here. You can have your hands high or you can bring your hands to your heart. Your low belly draws in and up. Now here, as you sit down, the tendency is to shift forward. So stay strong, shift back, and still stay upright in your upper body. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. Shift the weight of your body into your right foot. And draw your left knee up towards your chest. So remember, you can have your hands high or your hands at your heart. And if you can't lift your left knee a lot, you can rest your left heel or even your left toes on your mat. There's a little bit of balance. So if you want to rest your hand on a chair for support, you can. Probably a, a little bit of sensation building, maybe a little bit of fire building in that right leg. That's okay. Take a big breath in. Bring your left foot down. Shift into your left foot. Now draw your right knee up towards your chest. Yeah. And again, you can rest your toes or your heel on the ground. You can use your chair for support. You can do all of this in a chair. Take a big breath in. Right foot comes down. Take a deep breath in here. Fold forward. Exhale. Find your halfway lift. Check in with your feet as you come into your halfway lift. Did they turn out? Did they turn in? Is one foot more forward than the other? Even them out. Lift your chest, lift your heart. Take a deep breath in. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, come back to stand. Reach up as you exhale. Chair pose, Utkatasana, sit down. Some people call this fierce pose. Strong core, strong, strong connection through your feet. Now, set your right foot, feel your right foot, and once more, draw your left knee up towards your chest. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, step your left foot back behind you. Come on into your lunge. You can keep your left knee lifted, but you can also bring your left knee down to the mat for a little more balance, a little more support. Still drawing your low belly in and up here. Twist to your right. Extend your right arm back behind you. Extend your left arm forward. Watch out for leaning forward. See if you can still reach the crown of your head up to the sky. Take a big breath in, then a long breath out. Now as you inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Spin your back foot flat. You might add in some space front to back between your feet. And just for a breath or two, extend out through your arms. Extend out to the tips of your fingers. Feel that your front knee tracks over your front ankle. If you get a lot of sensation, you can back off from that, but then come back to it. Take a deep breath in here. Side angle, right elbow comes to your right thigh and your left arm reaches up for the sky. Notice if your back knee starts to collapse, 
press through your left foot, especially the baby toe side of your left foot. Feel if like you can lift and lengthen through your left leg. And with your right elbow on your right thigh, feel if like you can lighten up just a bit so it's a little more core. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. As you inhale, come back up to your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, drop your hands. Now square your hips forward and step your left foot in halfway or a third of the way. Take your right foot a little to your right. Interlace your fingers at your low back. If it works better, put a towel or a strap, even a t-shirt between your hands just to give yourself a little bit of space. Shoulders roll back, heart lifts, take a big breath in, and then gently fold forward over your right leg here. Fold to your own degree. You might find you're in more of a, a halfway lift. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. And how much room you have in your shoulders? It's just going to depend on your body, on the day. If you add in a towel or a strap between your hands, that usually gives you a little more room to rinse your shoulders. And that, for most of us, well, for me it does, feels really nice. Right, release, rinse out some of that tension in your shoulders. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. And take a big inhale. As you exhale, release your hands. Step your left foot up to meet your right. And you can have your feet together or apart here. Rise up to stand. Sweep your hands up. Lift up. Take a big inhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Just for a moment, bring your hands alongside, palms forward. Reconnect to your feet, to your foundation. Reconnect to your breath. Stand tall here. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Inhale. Reach your arms up. As you exhale, sit down, sit back for your chair pose, Utkatasana. Feel your left foot on your mat. Draw your low belly in and up. Draw your right knee up towards your chest. You can rest the right foot down. If you set your gaze to one point, it helps a lot. And you can have your hands high or hands at your heart. Take a big breath in. Now, right foot steps back. Come on into your lunge. Let there be a little bit of space right to left between your feet. So you might actually walk your left foot over to the left a bit. Take a big breath in and twist to your left. Right arm forward, left hand back. Now remember, you can bring your right knee down. That works. Keeping your left knee over your left ankle. The crown of your head still reaches up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. As you inhale, come around to your warrior two. Your back foot spins flat. Front foot is flat and straight. And again, adding a little bit of space between your feet. You can always lengthen your stance. And then if it doesn't work, you can shorten it again. So don't be afraid to, to play around, to explore here. Take a big inhale, left elbow to your left thigh, and your right arm reaches up to the sky, side angle. Your back foot is flat, back toes point towards the side edge of your mat, maybe a little bit forward. Your front foot is flat and straight. Right arm really long here. Feel that there's space between your right fingers, Keep the bend in your left knee and feel if you can lighten up even just the littlest bit on your left elbow. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And if you need to back off the bend in your knee, you can do that. Maybe you lighten up on yourself a little bit so you can actually enjoy what you're doing here. Take a big inhale and a long exhale. Now come back up to your warrior two, straighten your front leg. Drop your hands, step your right foot in, and square your hips off towards the front. Left foot is a little to your left. Once again, you can interlace your fingers at your low back. If you have a towel, a strap handy, put that between your hands. Take a big inhale and lift. As you exhale, fold forward over your left leg. Folding to your own degree, don't push. Rinsing your shoulders to your own degree, you're lengthening your legs. That doesn't mean you can't have a bend in your knees. This can be challenging. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. 
and breathe in and breathe out. And take a big inhale. And as you exhale, release your hands, step your right foot up to meet your left, and come on up to stand. Reach your hands high, lift up, look up, draw your hands to your heart, bring your arms and hands alongside you. We'll end as we began. Set your feet, soften your toes, Roll your shoulders back, let the crown of your head reach up. Notice if you feel a little bit taller, hopefully you feel a little, little stronger. And together, let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And really feel that this strength that you cultivated in this practice, it's the strength within you and you can carry it with you as you move through the rest of your day and through your life. So thank you. Thanks for joining me for this practice today. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. If you enjoyed the practice, do me a favor, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Uh...